Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at this very special LEGO set. Now this is set number 910015 and it has 876 pieces. So this is the Clockwork Aquarium. It's really cool. You turn this crank and the little fish move around on the inside of the tank here. Now this was originally a LEGO idea set and it did achieve the 10,000 votes. In fact, I did uh, vote for this set. But unfortunately, LEGO did not choose that one. And so I think the most popular sets, they decided to put it on the BrickLink program. And from there, it kind of goes into a crowdfunding kind of thing. And the first ones to achieve the goal of the crowdfunding gets turned into an actual set. So these are very limited, so the only people that got these are the ones who crowdfunded it and made it go all the way to the point where it becomes an actual set. So that was a year ago, and it takes about a year for them to produce these. So I kind of forgot about it, and it just kind of showed up in the mail, and it was great, and I was like, okay, great. So it turns out this is a four-in-one set. So on the back here, you can see that it has four different backgrounds. I really like this one. It's got the kind of pirate theme with the, the uh, skull and kind of like the whole pirate ship looking thing. This one has kind of a coral reef looking uh, sort of background. This one here is the standard one that has kind of like the seaweed going on. And this one's kind of cool too. It's got a little, I don't know what that is. It's like a little creature or a squid or something like that. So it's really neat. You can build it four different ways. Now I don't know yet, but I don't know if you have to choose one only, one only background and then uh, Maybe that's it, or maybe they give you enough pieces to make all four of these, and then you can change it out. I hope that's what it actually is, but I think it's really cool. I'm probably going to end up going for the pirate one. All right, well, this is really neat. I'm really glad to have gotten one of these, since they are pretty limited. So let's take a look at the parts inside. Okay, so there's bags that are numbered up to six, but there are 12 total because of the multiples. So we can see all the parts going on in this set. It's not a very big one. Uh, we do have one unlabeled bag here that's got the large plates in it and it's also got these really nice pieces right here where they're like pieces of fish and there's an octopus right there some starfish so that's kind of cool and then there is no instructions to this set at least not the physical kind so you have to go and scan the QR code right there and then uh, get the instructions online so I guess I'll be doing that alright well I guess I'll get started on this set Okay, I just wanted to show you the inner workings of this before it all disappears. Here is the crank, and here you can see how this is all turning inside here. There's some gears going on in there. So it's very cool. So it's all going to get covered up. So I've never used the app before to do the instructions, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, it's actually pretty handy. All right, well, I guess I'll continue now. All right, I just wanted to show you this really cool chain mechanism. Look at how this turns. So that little thing down there grips into these links to make this ch uh, chain turn. And a little repetitive building this, and I wasn't sure where they were going with this when I was building it, but now I see how this works. It's very, very cool. And it's very smooth, too. works flawlessly. All right, so we got the whole thing built now, and it was a pretty fun build. It was uh, actually not so complicated or anything. It's quite a bit of stuff going on on the inside there that I showed you. Now, we'll start with this version. This is the one that's got the little crab in there and the, uh, the uh, little octopus. Now, when you turn the crank here, see how the fish are going around? And you can see the little crab in the middle spinning and moving around. So that's the kind of background that we got going on there. Let me see if I can get a closer view of this, and hopefully I can turn it and do it one-handed. Looking at the details here, we can see the nice cabinetry that they got. I like the brown color that they use. So it looks like wood. You got the nice little, uh, they use the grill pieces there on the side. The glass looks really good. I love this ornate top. The way they did it, the way they did the corners right there, it looks really, really good. There's the side, the crank mechanism. I like that little, I don't know, that little decorative piece right there. That looks really cool. Also the way they did this little side section. Here's what the back looks like. They actually used two big panels. And then this kind of thing going on back here. Of course the back's not really meant to be seen. This side kind of has the same kind of design going on. And then they even have the nice little legs on the bottom. Looks nice, looks like a nice wood cabinet. All right, so let's get a closer view here. You can see all the inner workings in there. I like the little um, helmet that's down there. 
That's a little seaweed kind of growing up there. I love the way those fish turn those corners. You can kind of see the little crab in the middle spinning around. All right, so let me go ahead and do, actually, you know what, the, uh, this middle one here, uh, it's the same middle that you use, and then they just change the background. So let me show you that one. So this is the other background, and it has kind of like a Greek kind of feel to it with that little statue kind of thing right there. Never gotten one of those clamshell pieces. That was really cool. So the interior section in the middle, that stays the same. All you're going to do is change the background, and it has the same action as well. So I'm not going to bother putting this one in because it's still kind of the same thing. Okay, so now this one I'm not going to fully put together because you are actually supposed to add an entire row of these little windows down at the bottom of the glass right here, which makes the glass sit up that much higher. And then that's why the background's taller on this one. Now, I'm not really sure why they did that. I think it's this is actually a darker color, so maybe it's supposed to look like it's deeper in the water. And then also, instead of one of those fish in there, you're supposed to add this little pirate ship on there, and that would stick up higher like that. So I'm guessing that's probably why they added the height to it. But, um, you know, the overall operation is still the same. You can kind of see what goes on here. The little squid creature in the middle moves. You got the plants kind of moving. Well, the plants are supposed to kind of, kind of catch the... Uh, you can kind of see when the fish goes around here, how it kind of turns the plant. So that's kind of neat. Let me see if this one's doing it. That one kind of misses it. But I do like the squid creature in there. All right, so let's take a look at the pirate. Okay, so to change this out, this just pops off like this. We take that off. You have to be kind of careful with everything. You can see uh, how the little studs are on here. And then we'll take the pirate one here. Now this one's a little trickier because we have this little piece that has to go down inside this little uh, compartment right here because that's what moves and makes the treasure chest open and close. So you have to kind of hold this in place. Then you can get it in between the fishies. That post has to go down in the center right there. And then you just kind of put it on. I'll have to finagle with this a little bit to snap that on. But once we get it on there, it should be able to work, get that to work. All right, so I got this snapped back in place. Now here's the background for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and show this to you because you may not be able to see it once it's all together it's got this really nice um, steering wheel you got the cool crossed swords there's a nice little table right there and there's a lamp and then there's a key and then you can see a little map right there there's definitely more going on in the background for this particular setup than the other ones i, I really like this one a lot so now we got to attach it to the glass here so these corner studs those have to go under this little lip right here so let me see if I can try to uh, get these on. See, there's that side. Let me see if I can get this side. Okay, there we go. So now those are those are attached. Now you got to try to get it around these fish. That's always not the easiest thing, but thankfully they're on a flexible um, clear piece. So once you get them around the fish, there we go. Now this whole thing fits on those jumpers like that. And then to hold the whole thing in place, you got these corner uh, tiles right there and there. And this top part right here that goes on these old jumpers. And there we go. All right. Okay, we'll take a look at this one. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn the crank on this one. Now this is definitely my favorite. It has a better look to it. There's more things going on. It just looks more cool. Um, since the other, the other one kind of uses the same middle piece for two of the backgrounds, you know, you, you still have the, uh, the little crab and stuff. This one has a lot more stuff going on. You can see um, the treasure chest in the middle opening and closing. I think that's really cool. And then on the left side, you can see that rum bottle. It kind of gets spun around. I'll get a closer look at this so we can get a better look. And then you can also see the captain's wheel, the steering wheel in the back getting turned as well. It's really cool and the mechanism is relatively smooth considering it's a little bit clunky. Okay, so looking at it a little closer here, 
Now we can get a better look at that treasure chest. That mechanism that they have, it's like an extra arm that has to fit inside there. It's a little tricky to get that on, but that's what makes that open and close. Here you can see how that rum bottle gets spun around. It just kind of sits in there kind of loose. Then over there you can see the, uh, the wheel getting turned around. I like the skeleton. I think he makes it look pretty neat, and I like how he's wearing the, the uh, pirate hat. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely got a better kind of background going on. This, this one is much more interesting. And there's one little surprise that's still left on this set. Now, they have the top open on these, and I will say that I think after it sits here, it's going to get dust inside there, and I'm kind of worried about dust getting in there and messing up the mechanics. So what I did is I cut this little piece of a uh, little plexiglass, a thin piece, and I'm just going to lay it right on top like that. Just as a little lid, and then that'll keep the dust off of there. And you can still see through it, too. All right, so another cool thing about this is that the little, you grab these little life preserver handles, and you can actually open up this little cabinet. And on the inside here, there is actually some fish food down there. <laughs> it's really cool. There's like a little green jar of something, maybe some medicine for the fish. There's a little bucket right there as well, in case you spill a little bit of water. And then also you can see the little uh, interior workings of this. So now you can see how the fish are attached to the outside of the chain. And they make that smooth tile so that it'll go around the corners easy, but it's really ingenious. Now I can't remember the name of the... Uh, designer that made this but this was a it was an idea set it did achieve 10,000 votes I, I voted for it but unfortunately uh, Lego I think they picked that globe instead it seems like <laughs> out of all the sets that that are in these uh, idea sets Lego tends to pick some of the most boring sets it drives me crazy so there was about seven sets that were uh, that kind of got a second chance, like I mentioned. One of them was a bowling alley. I was going to buy that too, but these sets were really expensive. I can't remember how much I paid for this. It was something like a couple hundred dollars, some crazy price like that. And uh, then, of course, it took a year for them to produce it. But I think this was one of the more clever ones. I was really hoping that this one would make it. But thankfully, with the BrickLink um, kind of like crowdfunding thing, you're able to get it. But you got to kind of jump on those things before they go out. So I'll be interested to see what the next sets are. But this is a really cool set. I really like it. Uh, it's a limited edition, so they're not making these. You won't find these in stores, and you won't find them on Lego online or anything like that. If, you're, if you want one of these, your best bet is eBay, and I'm sure you're going to pay at least a couple hundred dollars for this set. But it's very cool, and I do like that it comes with all these little extra backgrounds and stuff that you can put in there, and all these little extra things in the middle. And it has a whole bunch of pieces that were left over as well, um, probably for that lower section of the tank. So you can choose whichever one you want, and I think it's neat. kind of gives you a nice option, but this one is my favorite right here. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. So thanks again, and have a good one.